All right, here we are. Not quite with my iPhone 15, but I have a reference model of an iPhone 15 and a case from Subcase, Unicorn Beetle Pro. So let's check out the case. Now this is a reference model, so it doesn't actually turn on, but it's the same exact physical specifications. We have our power button, we have our volume button, we have our SIM card tray, we have our activity button. You got your cameras, you got the hump, you got the US, even USB-C down here on the bottom. So let's check out this new case from Subcase. Now this is a, a nice heavy duty case, right? You wanna protect your phone. You know these iPhones aren't cheap. You gotta get it protected. Yo, All right, so it's a couple pieces of the case. There's the outer shell. There's the outer protective case. And then there's the in the screen protector, also bumper case, right? So there's two sides, right? So you actually have a screen protector here built into the case. Now this is the 6.1 inch reference model. So iPhone 15, of course, the regular and the plus come in 6.1 inches. And you can tell even there's a hole there for the camera, even though the dynamic Allen is on the camera, it's only the hole actually, it's the actual camera, right? So that's more sensors and stuff. So you slap that front piece on, slap the back on. So it snugs up there, right? And we have, of course, the camera is protected from that nice lip. The new USB-C port is protected by this little flap. All right, and then on this side, we have the power button, of course. And over here, we have the volume buttons and the activity button. And we have another trick up our sleeve. We have built-in kickstands. So you can have it up there if you wanna watch vertical videos like in TikTok or Instagram or YouTube Shorts, or turn it horizontal to watch that YouTube video properly. You can even use it as a little holder, like a pop socket kind of guy. And then of course you just slaps right up. So you have a little indent there that you can pull, but it snaps into place. So you can watch it vertical or horizontal. And then of course you have the outer heavy duty shell. So you can use it just like this if you want to, or you can slap it on here. So now you can see it visibly and it has this little clip to go on your belt or you know, what have you. And then this will rotate as well. So you can put it sideways on your belt if you like, or vertical, right? And then you just pop this little button and it comes right out. What you can do here is just put it in like this. So now it's pretty protected, right? The front screen has that interior clear screen protector and this big heavy duty shell. And then of course the back has this double layer of nice protection here, right? So it's pretty good, right? I mean, that is, uh, you know, nice and convenient if you wanna wear it on your hip. Or again, you don't even have to use this. You can just use a phone like this for the most time. Then maybe if you're going somewhere where you may damage the phone, you may want to put it in a little extra protection here, right? So yeah, I dig it. This is a wireless charger. This is, of course, a dummy phone, so I can't test it because it's obviously not got power on. But I believe wireless charging would work for these cases. I've had cases like this before, and wireless charging generally works through them. So I like it. I've had experiences with Unicorn Beetle Pro in the past, the subcase ones. I had a couple other cases, and they get the big thumbs up for me. All right, thanks for checking me out.